Hey, welcome to this segment. Tonight we're seeing Into the Heart of the Sea in the lap of luxury at Luxury Plus Galaxy Theater. So let's go ahead and see what the first fans have to say about the movie. So what'd you guys think? It was excellent. I I enjoyed the movie a lot. I didn't want to get up to go to the bathroom. It was so exciting. I just I was I was on the edge of my seat. It was excellent. What'd you think? I thought it was a, a really good story. <laughs> you know, it was a really uh, was exciting believable. movie, too. It was so connected with them as real people. Yes, exactly. exactly. Pretty intense. It was an awesome movie, especially seeing it in the DFX. It was just incredible. You felt like you were right there. So the sound helped with it, too. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, and I mean, hats awesome. off to Ron Howard. Mm -hmm. I mean, he put together a story. Uh, what'd you think? I thought it was an excellent movie really good because I'd read Moby Dick and I never knew where it was inspired by it, so it was really, really so, incredible. So having read the book Moby Dick and seen the movie now, um, do you think it was stay true to the story or was it different? It was different. I mean, yeah. Moby Dick was a work of fiction actually mm -hmm. based on mm -hmm. the facts, but this was supposedly true, so mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to see what it was inspired by. What do you think? It was uh, pretty epic, if I had one word for it. So epic, it definitely lived up to that level of oh, like uh, one of those epic all-time movies. Yeah, absolutely. What do you yeah. think? It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. now, did, did it feel like you were in the ocean in it? Did it have that, did you get a sense of the whaling industry? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So what do you think? It was good. Uh, I think this is a fourth Moby Dick movie I've seen. That's it's okay. good. Okay. Now, now um, the other ones. Are you going all the way back to like the '60s and '50s? Yeah, movie? unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, what would you think? How did this one uh, stack up? Um, they took a little different route, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it was good. I don't want. I mean, pretty much anything you say about it is going to spoil it. But well, you know, it's hypothetically worth though, um, the like them going a different route. Would you like what kind of route? Like. Would you say it was more realistic was, than you thought it would be, or it was more? It was historical? very realistic, but okay. um, it was more of a survival thing, not just mm. like the other ones epically end when they yeah. meet the whale. And, yeah, so you this, know, one, this one has I don't some different. Give it away. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep it spoiler free. I think it stands on its own. Okay. It really, truly, because uh, I don't know that I've seen a movie that gripped me as much mm -hmm. as this one. And now, are you familiar with the original Moby Dick yeah, story? Oh, absolutely. Yes. With Gregory and, Peck. Now, I never uh, read Moby Dick or saw another Moby Dick movie, so for, let me know, too. Is, it, is, the, is the book different, or is this kind of the story in the book? I think that this one here had a better story okay. than uh, the original Moby Dick. So they actually improved it? They I absolutely, Ron Howard, uh -huh. like I say, knocked it out of the park. That's amazing. Not That can't be said for a lot of movies that are based on books, that they actually improved it. Absolutely. Well, hang on, your next time out. Most generally, you're right. The book is always better than the movie. Yeah. In this case, I can not honestly so. say, so. Not, so. not the case. Very good. That's very wow. good to know. Wow. Maybe Oscar potential? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you, guys, and you, and you got the uh, free popcorn there. Okay, Next cool. time out. Thank cool, thank you. I felt bad like, for them. Yeah. I felt bad for like everybody in this movie because it just seemed like a really hard time and a hard thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. There was I don't want to blow it for anybody, but there was a one there was one scene that you just like, uh, oh, you I don't know what I would have done in that situation. It was yeah. really yeah. Even when things were going good, it was still tough. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, so um uh, sounds like a recommendation for seeing it in the theater, or should people yes. rent it at home? Oh, oh no, yeah. this is a theater movie. Theater movie all, theater the, way. Movie all the way. Don't wait. Don't wait for Redbox, yeah. Netflix. No, you need to see it in something like this. You know, a, a, Galaxy Theaters Galaxy with the theater. DFX help. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. On Even the big the screen. Box, huh? Yeah. Yes. The box <laughs> would be good on this one. All right. Well, hey, on your next time out, you guys get a free popcorn. Cool. Thank you. I felt like it was. Um, Maybe it felt like some movies that were made in the 90s or so. It felt like a little more practical. Yeah. Yes. This time out. Yes. Yeah, I liked the ships. You could tell, you know, it was just like, just felt gritty and practical to me. Yeah, I liked it. I liked Anyways, it. hey, uh, next time out, you get a free popcorn, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. You All right. Well, that's what the first fans had to say about Into the Heart of the Sea. Now, go ahead and give us your review. Comment below. Let us know what you thought of the movie. The next time you go out to see any new movie, check out a Luxury Plus Galaxy Theaters because it's an amazing way to see any new movie in the lap of luxury. Now, me and Kavan sat down and had an in-depth discussion about this movie. That upload is directly after this one. So if you want to hear what we thought of the movie in an in-depth level with spoilers and all that fun stuff, go ahead and check out the next video. Subscribe to Blue Number Media. We do this every week. We'll see you on the next one.